reggae music is coming from way back, way black. See, <laughs> you know, people want to get close to this music because it seems as if it, it don't have no one to say it is ours. You know, it's like a wild goat let go and never and ten people chasing the wild goat to catch him and the one first catch that goat would be the owner of that goat. When you're in fear is when you're not in communication with the Almighty. I don't live up to the divine principles of the Almighty. See? So that create fear. Because the conscience is always there. And the eyes and the hands has registered everything that you have done. See? So when what you have done is negative to the internal or to the what you would call the conscience, then it creates fear. Words spoken and words sung are very different psychologically. See? Words can be very heavy if it is verbally spoken. And if you use the same words, verbally spoken, decorated with music, it won't be looked upon to be so heavy because people will dance. Smoking herb is a sacrament, not a sacrilege. Not smoking herb is violating my own constitutional rights. And to be humiliated, aggravated, and brutalized for the smoke of herb is totally degrading in this 20th century. Music is psychology, see? And if the music does not penetrate the heart, the soul, and the mind, and the body, then you ain't gonna feel it. Because reggae music is not something that you hear, it's something you feel, see? And if you don't feel it, you can't know it, see? It is a spiritual music with spiritual ingredients for spiritual purposes. I don't want to be looked upon as no superstar, as no king, as no... My music is just music. Music is a message decorated with music for the awakening of people's consciousness and to certain levels of reality.